I can't believe this went on to a part three, but here it is. Right over here we've got some uh, Toy Biz Goblin, a, uh, a Goblin from the most recent Marvel Legends BA Build-A-Figure line. We've got the uh, Electro from the movie. We've got a Spawn that's an old, not Spawn, Venom. It's an old uh, Marvel Legends figure. You got a new from the new Marvel Legends Infinite Series six inch figure there. We've got a Venom or Black Suit Spider Man. Scarlet Spider. This is an amazing Spider Man figure from the most recent movies. Iron Spider. We've got another Venom black suited Spider Man there. Um, they're sitting on a, actually a base from Matrix figure, Matrix movie, which I just love. I, I picked up, it was for Na Na Nairobi, it was the axe figure that came with it, but uh, she, I guess she's not a very popular one, so I picked her, that action figure and the base for, uh, I don't know, six or seven dollars. I think it was well worth it. You know, got the brick wall, the steps, it's a perfect little little thing to put a couple of uh, action figures in. We've got a lizard there. Got a bone monk Star Wars Power of the Force spider there. I thought it worked well with the rest of the spiders, so to speak. Um, we've got an aim slash hydra fortress there with red skull up at the top. It's supposed to be holding a tesseract cube, but you know, keeps falling off. Probably fell back there somewhere. Got some Hydra soldiers. Crossbones, two different versions of them. This is from a, this is a Toy Major playset. Which I got for really cheap. It was well worth it. Eventually I'm going to put some sort of Hydra sticker up there. Got an AIM soldier. It's a crab droid from Star Wars. Baron Zemo. Winter soldier. Bucky Cap. And some assorted different Captain Americas there. Okay, up above I've got some Walking Dead action figures, which are really cool. I've got a couple other ones, but I just don't have the space to really hold of hold all these uh, larger action figures. I've got a Scully from Avatar up there and a Magna Guard Spawn figure, Men in Black, Yoda on a, I think it's a, called a Kaibuck. Stormtrooper, got Donus, Danus up there. Which is pretty cool. And up here, this is a display case that I made myself with uh, just all my well, not all, but a lot of the different stormtroopers that I got in different colors. It's all the way up there, guys. I'm kind of holding the camera up high. So give you a feel of what I got up here. Yeah, it's 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 a lot. As you can see, my collection goes all the way up to the ceiling. Not much space left. Okay, and on this wall here, I've got some Power of the Force action figures in their cases. Um, on here, this bit of plexi up here, I've got some, uh, i got to look this up, Tarkarov or Tarkarovsky Clone Wars figures. Um, the original Clone Wars was these shorts they played on Cartoon Network and the, the style that was definitely really kind of unique there. They're cool. There's a couple more that should be up there, but you know, they just keep falling off. Whenever you close the door, something falls down. I've got a Cobra Trooper, Paratrooper here. 
hanging down, so some more Power of the Force line action figures, and this Ewok glider. It's got Spider Man scaling the wall. Some more figures, Power of the Force line, and you know, I just need more space to put things, so. <laughs> pair of old jeans got recycled there, some tools, I've got these Star Wars themed headphones there got the cases I talked about in an earlier video and in here I've got these um, mechanical chain gear bases which I love they're kinda old, they've been out for came out I don't know, several years ago so you know, if you try and find them on eBay, they can range in price from like 20 bucks to like 100 or uh, yeah, I don't know. They're really neat. They're really cool. Definitely have to be on the lookout for those guys. Uh, but um, I like them a lot. Um, they're 6 inch by 6 inch. Comes in two pieces. Um, different styles of them. It's this piece right here and the back part clipped together and I really like it it could be used as a you know shield helicarrier hangar um, some kind of space station hallway it's aliens you know you name it whatever your imagination uses so basically they got commander Rogers and uh, uh, ultimate Hawkeye in there uh, fighting off the wrecking crew some couple Star Wars little gadgets in there a constrictor, got Lady J face down. I don't know what happened to her. She must have fallen it's from the movie, I think. And then here, this is an extra piece from a uh, Batman Build the Bat Signal set, but kind of just putting it on there. And uh, there's a wrecking crew. About to Try to put a hurt on Captain America and Hawkeye. Right there. Down here is my Hall of Armor, which is, you know, still a work in progress. It's an old printer I took apart for the different plastic pieces. Uh, you know, industrial designers, they come up with these designs for printers and you know, other gadgets. Everything has a lot of thought to it. You know, there's a reason behind it. So, um, you know, printer doesn't work, you know, I, old electronics, plastic, metal, whatever, you name it, you know, I take it apart and see what kind of cool parts are in there that I can be reused and, uh, so basically, you know, I'm using this background piece as a side to a laser printer, um, as my walls to kind of give it a little bit of, uh, you know, it's made out of plastic, it's got some some texture, some, some something going on in there. I, I feel like it's a pretty decent background for these guys. Here's my, you know, various Iron Man, different versions of them. I've got Iron Man with a Tony Stark head, and he's kind of pulling a Hamlet there with a skull, with his, <laughs> with his skull, with his uh, helmet in his hand. Over here, I've got my Marvel three and three quarter scale diorama. Down here, I've got like the Sinister Six. Got Vulture there on one of these flight stands, and he's swooping down on or swooping up on Spider-Man, I guess. About to attack. Had to glue those wings onto him. And that's pretty much the, the only way to get them to look good with those wings. I've got Craven, Black Cat, Doc Ock, Mysterio, Rhino, Sandman. He's definitely being ganged up on. I've got an old guitar string, which I'm being using as a web for Spider-Man to swoop down. In the background, I've got this lamp, la, lamp post, a street light from an old Toy Biz toy, and uh, I think it's great. 
you know, I, I built this background right here, the brick sort of wall and the street out of some scraps of wood. Um, back there we've got an avatar mech. I've got Solomon Grundy from DC, which I really like. If I can pick up a second or third one, I'd love to turn them into a Joe Fixit Hulk. Or maybe even a Beast, you know, or a uh, strong guy from the X-Men. X, uh, X Factor, I believe. Got the thing going up against a Venom. Dark Avenger. Got Ares going up against Sentry. Oops, Spider Man swinging. Got Dark Hawk.